word Zen conjures up images of Buddhist monks in meditation, a meeting of body and soul. It also brings to mind patience and silence. So it is fitting that this word was chosen as a clever acronym for a zero-emission, no-noise vehicle, or the Zen, with two Ns. The Zen is a neighborhood electric vehicle, and although it is touted as a full car, it takes great amounts of patience and faith to drive it anywhere other than a parking lot. If you drive mainly on small town roads, live on a small island, or in a private gated community, the Zen is a great way to get from point A to point B. As long as points A and B aren't farther than 35 miles apart and you don't plan on returning anytime soon. As much as the makers of the Zen want you to believe it is not a golf cart, the addition of extra batteries and enclosed greenhouse can't magically transform the tiny runabout into a full-fledged car. Plus, the Zen's 25 mile per hour top speed is slower than any real automobile produced in the last 90 years or so. Driving the Zen is like driving a golf cart. When you first turn on the ignition, you hear nothing, but don't worry. Simply release the e-brake, press a button on the dash to select forward or reverse, push the gas pedal and go. It quickly accelerates to top speed and steers with an unrefined mechanical feel. Reversing is almost comical as a very loud repetitive beep lets you and everyone else know the vehicle is backing up. The Zen is surprisingly smooth over uneven pavement, but we would caution against taking it on unpaved roads, even though the manufacturer shows it doing so on its website. One thing we like about the Zen is that it is a fully electric vehicle. No gas required. Plug it into a regular outlet for 8 hours and you can travel between 35 and 50 miles on a single charge. Diminutive in size, the Zen is obviously not a regular car, nor a substitute for one for most people. But it is an attention getter, and people will want to know about it, so be prepared to wear your green ideology on your sleeve. Designed to minimize weight, the Zen looks similar to a smart car. A snub nose leads back into a bubble-like greenhouse that abruptly cuts off in the rear. Cheap-looking gray plastic trim peppers the exterior, and a pair of faux fog light appliques look downright absurd. The rear hatch is large enough for bulky items, but strangely missing is a release button on the hatch or key fob. The only way to open the rear door is via a lever hidden next to the driver's left arm. Although the Zen can be equipped with creature comforts like air conditioning and power windows, cheap plastics and poor ergonomics create an interior of far worse quality than even the lowest level entry-level hatchback. The inner panel of the doors shake dramatically when you enter and exit, and the dash seems like it could easily pop out of place if you put too much pressure on it. The gauges aren't logically laid out, and we were left scratching our heads when we saw that the power reserve display shows a picture of a gas pump. The two cloth seats feel spongy, but are adequate for the Zen's short driving distance. One redeeming feature is the panoramic sunroof. Seemingly stolen from some higher quality vehicle, the sunroof retracts quickly and is made of quality materials. The base Zen comes with an electric motor, enclosed greenhouse, and very little else. Adding optional features makes the Zen generally more tolerable, but increases the price dramatically. Optional features include air conditioning, floor mats, a JVC audio system, and a panoramic sunroof. The Zen is powered by six lead-acid batteries that can be charged through a regular wall socket. A full charge takes eight hours, but an 80% charge can be achieved after just four hours. The battery pack sends power to a 30 horsepower motor driving the front wheels and a regenerative braking system helps to recoup some of the energy used to propel the Zen. The Zen has a manufacturer's suggested retail price around $16,000. Add to that a hefty destination charge in all four options and you are looking at paying $21,000 before you wheel and deal. By comparison, the all-electric gym vehicle costs about $14,000. The similarly sized Smart 42 costs slightly more than $12,000 but runs on gasoline and gets gas mileage in the 30s per gallon range. The iconic Toyota Prius Hybrid gets gas mileage in the high 40s and costs just over $21,000. But neither it nor the smart car are zero emissions vehicles like the Zen. Ultimately, the Zen is geared toward a very specific demographic, and it can only meet the transportation needs of a small portion of the car buying public. If you want a vehicle for tooling around the community or campus, and you want to feel like you're saving the planet while doing it, the Zen should be on your test drive list. And that's our Kelly Blue Book review of the Zen.